Hey guys, welcome to My Soap List. Today I'm gonna show you how to make some tea towels. They're super cute and super easy and make a perfect present. And I'm gonna have my son, this is Crew, he's gonna help me out today because we're gonna make it even more fun and we're gonna be painting these tea towels before we actually sew them. So I have him here with me today and we have our fabric out. I bought some 100% linen from Joanne and it's perfect for this project because it's an all natural fiber and it'll just soak up any water. It absorbs water great, so it's perfect to having in the kitchen. And then I just got a white because I thought it'd be fun to paint and he can make his designs and I could experiment and make my designs. So we're really excited to show you how to do those today. So for your supplies, like I said before, you're gonna need 100% linen and I got this from Joanne. They have a great linen selection. Um, if it's on sale, it's even better, and they have all different colors, prints. I really like the striped ones, so go check out their selection. And then I'm also, like I said, we're going to be painting ours. So we're going to be using this Jolie paint that they provided for me. Jolie paint is just coming onto the market. It is a water-based, non-toxic, really great paint. It's safer. Um, safer for the person using it, the people smelling it, and comes in a variety of gorgeous colors, and I just love it. So I'll put a link down below for them. I'm going to be using this grayish green. You can kind of see I got some out already. So I'm excited to try it out on my fabric. You can put it on a lot of different surfaces. I'll put links below to their website where you can go check them out and read all about it because it is just amazing what it can do. I have so many ideas and things that I want to do and I can't wait to get started. So along with the paint, you're also gonna need some paint brushes and we're just using these little simple ones. Um, again, got these from Joanne in like a 20 pack. Really great and he can use them really well and they'll just be awesome. I'm using a red um, plastic cup so that I can put the paint in it and I just thinned it. So it's a little watery. Um, I just thinned it down a little bit so that it will work better and we don't need such thick paint to go on our fabric. So it'll be perfect for this project, especially because the fabric is so thin, it'll probably just seep right through. So on my surface, I actually put down plastic bags so that it doesn't destroy my table or and or the things below it. So we have that all set up and ready to go. And then to finish off the tea towels, you're just gonna need basic sewing supplies. So let's get started. So like I said before, I just have my paint in here. I put the paint in first and then I put just a little bit of water to make it thinner. You can make it as thin or leave it as thick as you want, depending on what type of fabric you're using. Um, mine seems pretty runny. It's definitely less than 50% added water, but um, just so you know, keep that kind of thin. So now I'm gonna just start working on mine and my son can start working on his. So we'll just dip and start doing some designs. Are you ready? But get mine a little bit. Okay, put yours in there. Okay. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. similar size to other tea towels that I had at my house. They're about, I want to say like 15 inches wide by 25 inches tall. And I did cut them a little bigger than I actually want them because later we're going to um, finish off our edges so that they look really nice. So, and one thing you want to think about is how it's going to look on the other side. So I kind of liked that mine is showing through. It's going to be the exact same thing. I'm not using a ton of paint as you can see down here. It's kind of coming through, but it's not a lot. So I'll just let that sit and dry um, until I'm ready and then I'll start the sewing process. Awesome. 
Um, it's non-toxic, low VOC, which is how they measure like the toxicity of the paint and keep it safe for everyone. It's um, non-hazardous, so it's just so many great things. You can use it um, for your children's crib and you don't have to worry about that. I mean, you have to let it sit and cure like most other paints, but then you won't have to worry about it. It's also food grade safe, just so many awesome things. So I'm excited, I love their colors. They're just really beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, I think next I wanna do like my hutch I have in my kitchen holding all my dishes. I really wanna repaint that, so I'm like that would be so fun with one of these Jolie paints. Why do you like it with this Jolie paint? Cause it's just so pretty and so nice. Do you like it? Yeah. Is it like fun to work with? suggest is if you're worried about cracking or if you just want to seal it really nice you can use a top coat I think for this project I'm just gonna leave it because I want it to be as soft as possible and since we used a um, thinner paint I'm not too worried and if it cracks I actually think it would look really good and kind of add to the character of these so now we're just gonna let them dry preferably let them dry overnight and then we'll work on finishing the edges tomorrow Okay guys, it's been a few days. We've let our paint dry. Here's my tea towel, all done. And then here's my son. This is Crew, his tea towel, all done. So next we're going to finish off the edges and that will finish off our tea towels. So what I want to do is I just want to do a basic um, double fold around the entire thing. So. Let me show you how I'm gonna do that. Here I have my tea towel with the right sides facing down, wrong sides up, and I'm just taking one side of my raw edge, and I'm gonna do this to every side, but I'm just taking this first side and gonna fold it over a quarter of an inch with my seam gauge, gonna measure all along, and I'm gonna take it over to my ironing board and iron this down. For now, I'm just gonna show you by pressing it with my fingers. So measure it a quarter of an inch, press it down, and then I'm gonna roll it one more time quarter of an inch. I'll measure that and press it so it just lays really nice and beautifully. And then I can take it over to my sewing machine and stitch that down and that'll finish off all of our raw edges so you won't be seeing any of these raw edges and you won't have any crazy fraying because this is already some crazy fraying. So I'm going to iron it first and then I'll go and sew it. Okay, so you can see here I have it folded. I need to tuck that little piece in right there. But here I have it folded, so I'm also going to tuck that little piece in. Actually, I'll just probably cut it off, but all the raw edges are folded in. So this is what it looks like on the right side. So I'm actually just going to sew on the right side, and my fabric is pretty sheer so I can see where the fold is, and I'm not worried about that. So I'm just going to start here at the top, and I'm going to sew right along the edge, which should be a little close to a quarter of an inch. I ended up doing the seam allowance a little bit bigger, mostly just to play, I just played around with it. Um, luckily for these, it doesn't actually matter what your seam allowance is. Just you want your tea towel to be the size you want it, so you don't want to take too much up. So now we are going to sew, and I'm gonna have Crew help me sew. So he's gonna put his hand right here. Here, set it right here. And then I'll push down and we'll start going. And we just guide it along. Okay, so put your hand right here, and then we'll just do that. And see how you push it along? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. that, so you're just guiding it so that it stays lined up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!